Hello everybody, it is Galrock, and we're here today for episode 26 of my Galrock Pack Let's Play series. Last episode, we've got our Arcane Crafting Terminal going, and we got the V Relay interface set up so that we can transfer Centivy through the ME network. Thereby, keeping this scepter for crafting charged. So, anyway this episode I thought we would look a little bit more into Thomic Energistics so I've done some work in between episodes and you can see I poked a couple holes in the wall here for a reason uh, let's see you know what did we ever finish those we didn't finish those discs last episode did we so let's finish that up Yeah, there we go. We've got everything there, just gotta combine it. And I don't have enough inventory space. <laughs> so let's do this. Let's go ahead and get these in here. Yeah, I didn't think so. And then run upstairs and get some more. And that ought to give us plenty of Essentia storage. Now you notice that, you remember, the regular applied energistics disks will accept 63 different types of items. Well, these only accept 12 different types of Essentia. So that's something to keep in mind. Although there's, what, only about 30 or so, 35 maybe, of Essentia. So it's not as big a deal that way, but... This ought to store quite a bit for us. Now, you can see I ran all this cabling over here, and whoops, <laughs> I did a little uh, did a little bit of infusion crafting between episodes because that stuff took a while. Uh, the essential provider had to get all that stuff together and all these aspects, and then. the infusion provider which all this stuff including those is also an infusion so yeah it took a little while getting everything put together but we've got it all put together now and the infusion provider we're gonna put right there let that load up device online there we go now that's going to act like, you remember I had all them jars laying around everywhere. That's going to act like those jars, it'll provide the essence necessary, the essentia necessary, anytime I'm doing any more infusion crafting. So if we look in here, this is where I put all my jars of essentia. We'll be able to load those in, but we need a way to load them into the system. So we need... An Essentia Terminal. Where is it? There it is. So we should have most of this stuff. Okay, I need a coalescence core and I need a logic processor. So we can craft the logic processor real quick. And remember, we can't access the auto crafting from in the arcane terminal. That's why we've got also a crafting terminal there. Alright. And then we need while we wait on that we need the coalescence core and we should have everything else for that already yeah good to go there and there we go uh, let's get a piece of cable and we will place that right here I'm going to go ahead and put the facade up there as well. There we go. Now all I have to do... I can empty these suckers just like that. And if you notice, in here it shows how much of each aspect we have. So let's put down... Hey, you're not empty. So 
So I'm going to work on emptying all these jars real quick. And then I'm going to just take the labels off, like so. Do it again. So give me just a minute, and we're going to fill all this Essentia into the system. And I'll be right back. Alright, now down here looking at the drives, you can see we're really not using up much space. So we've got plenty of space to store more Essentia. I probably will need a good way of voiding Essentia later on, but for now, this will do. And we've got all these aspects just loaded up in there. So now, how are we going to get more aspects in there? Well, I'm glad you asked. I've got a plan for that. We need an Essentia import bus. There it is. So we need another diffusion core. There we go. Whoops. And we need a filtered Essentia tube, just like so. Isn't this crafting so wonderful? Especially with the auto recharge. There we go. We have an Essentia import bus. And I'm going to put it right there. So now, let's see what what I like to go ahead and load up some more of. Let's look at ethereal essence, maybe just because. All right, let's look at Perdicio. Eh, Perdicio is an easy one to get. Let's look at. All right, Nvidia. All right, do we have any Nvidia in here? We do not. All right, and that's that green-looking one. So, plus we've got 26 Aurum in here. So once we're done with this, we ought to have four Nvidia and an extra four Aurum to make 30. Right? So let's test this real quick and see that it's working. There we go. The aspects are pulling up into the Alembic and being pulled into the system. Nice. And that's it. So we go back over here to our Essentia terminal and we now have 30 Aurum and where's there it is for Nvidia nice okay very cool so that gets that force let's get another facade there we go and let's see if we can get this to work this is gonna I may have to do this there we go there we go I don't feel like we're going to need any uh, acceleration cards or anything in this because you saw it was importing faster than the furnace was diffusing into the Alembic. So I'm not too worried about that. So we'll go ahead and close that up. If we need to, we can get into it later. Not a big deal. So that handles that for us. Very nice. All right. So something else I want to work on is the alchemical construct we're gonna do the automated alchemy alright now what have we got here alright we need more great wood planks we need more essentia tubes how are we for V filters uh, we should have enough of those and we need the advanced essentia tubes or the essentia valves so let's get some more cinch tubes made up. There we go. And some great wood planks. Do I have any levers in here? I do not, but I've got sticks and I've got cobblestone. So that should be everything we need to make two alchemical constructs. Nice. So we're going to stack these on top of our crucible. 
Hit it with the wand. Nice. I'm going to go ahead and recharge this wand over here before it eats up my mana tablet. <laughs> so, on the alchemical construct, we can let's let's say we want some alimentum. We look that up. Throw coal in with three potentia, ignis, and Perdicio. All right. So let's get some coal here. Tell it that that's what we want. Now it's just waiting on those aspects. Well, we're going to have to connect this. Now one thing about having the uh, alchemical construct crucible set up is you don't need water in it anymore. Let's go ahead and get that skin real quick. So, we can go ahead and take down this water source we set up back here. close this all back up or most of it and let me get some cable run over here and I'll be back in just a minute alright we got that all cleaned up and it already spit out a couple of pieces of alimentum for me let's do this let's take a look in here you can see it ran out of potentia so it's got the ignis and the prodicio in there just ran out of potentia well, we can fix that. Let's get some charcoal, because that has ignis and potential on it. And this is something we're going to want to use the alimentum for. That right there. and it's just spitting the alimentum out on the floor so that is kind of a problem we're going to want to do something about that right so let's let it finish up that last one alright so there's a couple of things we could do here I could just put a chest on the front but that would be you know kinda ugly um, uh, same thing with an ME interface. I think I've got an idea. And I've seen this done before, and it's actually a really cool idea. If we use an annihilation plane, which does not look too difficult to make, all we need is the Fluix. Let that start crafting up. Shouldn't take but a minute. Maybe. In the meantime. Haha. -ha, look at there. Just put a piece of cable right there. That's annoying. There we go. One annihilation plane. Okay, I want to make a facade for that because I don't like the gap there. So all we got to do is that with one of these lava stone. Oh, that landed wrong. Or did it? That's weird. Nope, it landed right. That's weird. 
I guess it's got a bit of transparency in the texture that we're really not seeing. It'll have to do. So now, let's put another piece of coal in there. And boom! Pulls the alimentum right into the system for us. Let's check that one more time. Nice. Alright, I think that'll cover that for us. So let's go ahead and cover this hole up in the wall. Now, there we go. So anytime I need to make some, let's say I want to make some more thomium, right? So let's put, we'll just go with eight for now. Put the iron in there. Nice. I don't like that I'm seeing the piece of dirt and the piece of stone under there. I'll fix that because that really does not look right. But other than that, I like this setup. We ought to test that infusion crafter, infusion provider as well. So let's finish this up and then think of something that we can put in in fusion crafting. There we go. I love that staff of travel. You just have no idea. There we go. That looks a lot better. Kind of feel like I should put a facade in front of the cable there too. But, oh well. Maybe I will. And that's still pulling into the... Nice. Very nice. All right. Now how much Ignis and Potentia do we have left over? 127 Potentia. That's a lot of Potentia. That'll make a lot of Alimentum. Matter of fact... Yeah. I'm going to let that run while I decide what else I want to make. So I'll be back in just a minute. Alright, I think I figured out what I want to do. Let's make a thomium-embossed silverwood staff. That ought to be a good one. So we, you can see I've already got the materials together. Let's check our aspects. We need nine of each primal. So it probably wouldn't hurt to throw a little more air in. Uh, we're doing okay on aqua. What else? Maybe some Ordo, definitely some Perdicio. Plenty of Terra. And a little more Precantatio. So I think. I think that'll do the trick. So yeah, let's get some sugar cane. That's probably the best source, or the easiest source for us right now of air. go. And we need some cobblestone for some more Perdicia. And for Ordo, let's use, let's grab a chisel. And we will use chiseled stone bricks for it. So let's let this stuff cook up and yeah let that get pulled into the system. wonder if I could import the Essentia directly from the alchemical furnace. That's an interesting idea. Let's find out.
that might make this process a little faster. So what do we need? A filter to cinch a tube and a diffusion core. So let's take that Alembic down and let's see what happens. I don't think it's going to work like that. Nope, not going to work. Well, it was an interesting idea. got a wrench on me and I'll fix that block later it was an interesting idea but it didn't work so oh well There's one other possibility just let that I'm going to try the import bus on top. What about that? Let's let that finish emptying out. All right. Because it is kind of uh, directional. Where'd you go? There you are. All right. Now let's see if that works. As you can tell, I haven't tested these ideas. They just came to me just now. Thought maybe it would help it work a little faster, but it doesn't. Oh well. It was worth a shot, right? Okay. So anyway, yeah, I'm going to finish cooking this stuff up and I'll be back in just a minute. We're set up to do our first silver wood rod. Let's see what happens. Nice. It's pulling the aspects in from the infusion provider. So, no more jars all over the place. Yay! Alright, I'm going to let this do its thing. We're going to craft a second one in just a minute. And I'll be back when we're ready to do more. Alright, we've got two silver wood rods. With the primal charm gets us the staff core. And now, with the charged thomium caps, look at how much that costs. We wouldn't have been able to do it without this scepter. Woohoo! We have a thomium embossed silverwood staff. So, we're going to let that charge over here. It's going to take a long time. But still, that's a wand I can hold without worrying about it draining my mana tablet. And while that's useful sometimes, sometimes it's just a drain on my mana tablet. So we're going to let that thing charge up for a while. And speaking of mana, let's go check and see how our mana's doing over here. Looks full. Look at that. We've got the redstone signal. This mana pool is filled up. All the timers have stopped. So it is working perfectly. And we have, what, 12 full mana pools now? That's a lot of mana. So we're going to have to find something to do with that mana. So I will work on that. I think uh, I think next episode we'll work on getting some Terra Steel armor. Because that's some really cool armor. And, uh, uh-oh. Your stomach 
suddenly gurgles very strangely. And to think I've been trying to avoid most of the warping. What the? Apparently, I... My stomach gurgle just made me lose some flux goo or something. All right, let's uh, <laughs> let's fix that or do something about that. Uh, I used up all my cobblestone. Can't leave that stuff sitting around, dude. That was unpleasant. <laughs> You know, maybe we should look into something that'll help us monitor our level of flux, our our warp level. Let's see. Where was it? Warp flux in all things bad. That just tells us that warp exists, really, in some of the stuff that it does to us. Maybe an artifice or alchemy. See, I have done some research over here. Let's see. Well, that tells us how to get rid of some of our warp but not how to monitor it. So I'm pretty sure there is a way to do it. I just can't remember what that way is. So I might need to work on that between episodes, or in the near future anyway, and uh, and see what I can come up with. Because, I mean, we did end up, just by necessity, getting a few of these forbidden knowledge. But I tried to stick to the minor ones when I could. Hmm... So yeah, I'm going to have to uh, probably do some more research in here and try to see if there's a way that I can monitor my warp level and see what's causing, you know, what we can do about it, how high the warp is, that kind of thing, you know? So maybe I'll try to do some of that research, maybe. Maybe. <laughs> There's some really cool stuff in here. I don't think we're going to get into all of them. Be nice, but I don't think that's going to happen. But yeah, there's obviously still some missing research in places. I'm probably just going to have to work on unlocking some more, which is going to be risky. So we might want to consider some things some terra steel armor very soon and we've got the enchanting over there as a matter of fact you know what that's what we're gonna do next episode something I've never gotten around to is setting up the golems in here to farm these berries for me and I mean we're doing okay on liquid XP you know I'm occasionally going in there in between episodes to uh, fill up on them but It'd be nice to have it automatic, you know? Did I see a red light? No, I didn't. Okay. It'd be nice to have something automatic, you know? So that might be one of the things we're going to work on next episode is some is a couple of golems to take care of that for us. And we're going to work on some Terra Steel armor. This stuff that we've got over here is nice, but I think, uh, I think some Terra Steel and enchanting it up will be the way to go. So, without further ado, I think it is time to call it a day. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget you can follow me on Facebook or Twitter for news updates. I also post, uh, when the episodes go live, I post them on there, uh, soon thereafter anyway. And, uh, 
you know, all that good stuff. So you can find those links in the description below. Don't forget to follow me on there. Don't forget to like my videos if you liked it. Subscribe to my channel so you can keep up to date with my videos. And, uh, well, yeah, I guess that's about it. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you next time.